I'm gonna tell y'all now, be careful with that shit. Be back on camera, y'all. What is up again, YouTube? It's your boy, Jactavius, here back again with another video. I have missed y'all. I wanna give y'all a hug, but I'm kinda stuck in the chair. I'm wet, yeah, y'all already know. But what's up, y'all? I hope that everybody's having a great time. But I have missed y'all. I've missed making videos and pretty much giving y'all my story time. I was actually debating on if I wanted to make my story times still where you see my face and me talking to y'all. Um, Cause I actually was in the middle of editing um, a story time that we're not about to talk about. But long story short, I was like, this just seems so ingenuine. Like I can't just put my voice over this and y'all can't even see my facial expressions and uh, certain things like that. So I decided to still do the story times with my full face in it. For those who have been asking, yes, I've done a couple meetups since pretty much haven't been posting. I really just stayed in the shadows and just, you know, worked on different areas of my life and I take a break. It's never too late to take a break in your hobbies and things of that sort. I really do apologize for taking this long hiatus. I don't really expect to take long hiatuses like this. I think I just needed a little bit of time to really determine if this is really what I want to do, which I decided, of course, as I'm making this video, that of course, this is what I wanted to keep telling y'all story times and, you know, keep telling you a little bit more about me and the things that I do. And also as just a reminder that it's okay to take hiatus since there's nothing wrong with taking a break. If it needs to be one day to even one year, do what you need to so that you can come back even harder and even stronger, which I hope this time around, I'm definitely gonna come back harder. So I don't really know if I hit the one year mark on YouTube yet, but I set some goals last year when I first started this account and what I wanted to get done. And I've hit some goals, but then there's other goals on my, I could have hit that if I'd done better. So let's see what we do the next year round. But let's get on to the video. So like I said, I don't really have a lot of time because I definitely have to um, get ready and go soon. Going out. But I wanted to make sure I gave y'all, you know, a little bit of a story time before I went out. So y'all see me brushing my hair and just like looking away from the camera time to time. That's why. So this story kind of took back 2022. I'm getting old, y'all. 2022 is long at this point. 2016, this all took place in 2016. I want to say springtime. It was right before, you know, we got out of school, but it was still while we still had classes. So I'm not going to give out my age because y'all ain't finna check me down. But I will tell y'all that I was pretty much in high school at this point. So I was in homeroom pretty much. Homeroom is pretty much a class where you don't really do shit. You just sit in there waiting for your ass to go to lunch, right? I'm just, you know, on my phone at this point in time, I was really big into playing games on my phone. I don't play them shits no more. Kind of sad I don't, but I get this DM. I noticed that the DM didn't come from like my personal account, but it came from like my, yeah, my private account. Of course I'm like, who is DMing me on my private account? So I open it and it's like this dude and um, he had like pretty much, it was a typical faceless profile, but he sent me like a couple pictures of who he was um, and basically was like, hey, how are you doing? And I'm like, yeah, like, I don't know. I'm one of them kind of people when you DM me, I don't mind when y'all DM me about like my videos and things of that sort. Cause of course that's why I even make the video so y'all can watch them. If you're gonna DM me, please say something more than yo or hey, like, Give me something to talk about. You know, there's things that we can be doing and I don't mind talking to you, but you gotta make it like, make it a purpose for me to talk to you. Don't just say, hey, and I'm like, hi. And you're like, what's up? And I'm like, nothing, like get to the point. <laughs> and I get it sometimes with some people, you know, they just wanna like be courteous and, you know, just be nice before they ask what they want. But this is the internet, y'all. I already know that y'all want something, so just tell me what you want. So, you know, I was entertaining it because I was young and dumb, wasn't really thinking about it too much, but uh, came out to my success. He lives in my state, and we kind of figured out that, oh shit, you're like next door as far as like cities-wise, how close he was. I'm like, oh shit, you're like, you know, give or take about a 20, 30 minute drive. I was like, okay, when are you trying to link? And he was like, today, and I'm like, today? Today, shit, I got track practice, hold on, hold on, like, whoa, what the fuck? You know, I got practice, I got work, I got things to do. Uh, wow, you're putting a lot on me at such a 
such a fast moment. But uh, what are you gonna do being young and dumb, of course? Caught off of work, of course. <coughs> After like I was sick, then go to practice. Of course, I had a reason to go to the library per se. I would never tell nobody else to do this shit. You know, this could have been an ax murderer or somebody trying to harm me and I wouldn't even know. Um, I can definitely say I've gotten lucky with a lot of things I've done in my past, but we'll talk about that on another day. So he sends me his address and he was like, hey, just come over after class and try to get over here by three o'clock because I pretty much got out of two. So I'm like, all right, cool. I was driving at that point in time at my car. So I'm just like all day just like thinking about it because I'm like, man, I'm about to like fuck his shit up. You know, at this point in time, I was a very, very like early on, didn't even know I was a dom, but I was a dom at that point in time. So I didn't really fully realize that I was like, huh, I was so stuck on the fact that Yo, I'm about to go like have a meetup. Like everybody feels like that when they first have this meetup. Like they go through the shock phase, of course, where they're like scared, they don't know what to do. But I was just like excited. I was just ramped up, right? Eventually school lets out. I'm on my way over there. Get over there probably about 2.40. I'll text him like, yo, I'm outside. And he was like, all right, bet I'm gonna let you through the back. I'm gonna tell y'all now, be careful with that shit. I don't want y'all blaming me for anything happening. I'm telling my own story about what the hell I done did and stupid shit I done did. I would never tell y'all to do this type of shit, but just listen. So he was letting me through the back in terms of like the, I think it was like the back door of the house. So I'm walking around to the back of the house and I'm just like looking at the shit. I mean, it was a beautiful house, don't get me wrong, because this is the suburb. So beautiful home, but I was just like feeling like this was a little sketchy, okay? So he lets me in the back of the house. Immediately, as soon as we get in, he just turns around and I'm like, whoa <laughs> like right now he was like give me one right now give me a wedgie right now let me show y'all how he was <laughs> he was like he was like give me a wedgie right now give me a wedgie right now i was like what is going on of course you know i lifted the shirt saw you know some fruit looms you know a, a dom just can't resist so of course i gave him a couple of yanks you know gave him what he was looking for and then he basically like you know led me to his room so walking up the stairs i'm still holding his underwear in my hand and i'm just like yeah bitch you like this shit x y and z you know i'm talking that shit you know i'm a very verbal dom so i'm just like you know give him what he wants to get upstairs and i immediately just like push him on the bed and i basically just like you know give him like the dangling wedges on the bed where like you know, I'll pick you up, put you back down by your underwear, you know, just, you know, give you a good dangle. Playing football at this point in time. So, you know, I was super duper strong. So, in the middle of me doing this dangling wedge, y'all sat down, put his head in between, you know, and then I basically pull, pulled his drawers up, trying to see like if I can get them atomic. Um, and at that point in time, I think Fruit of the Loom probably had a different recipe for how they made it because it was a little bit stretchier at that point. I didn't get to get them atomic, but I was, you know, trying my fucking hardest. I was like moving the front to the back so I could have more cloth to work with. And in the midst of me giving this atomic, guess what I hear? Doom. You could hear a pin drop when you heard this man say, that is my father. Hmm. Now, of course, as a grown ass man, now I'm looking back like, hmm, we probably could have gotten out of that. But at the time I was stressed because I'm like, this ain't my home. I don't know this man's name. Oh my God, this, this is not good. He immediately lifted his head like, Oh my God, that's my dad. Oh my God, that's my dad. You have to get into the closet. I'm like. You want me to get in this closet? Like you, you want me to get back in the closet? Cause you know, they tell gay people to usually like come out the closet, not get back in. Like I was, uh, I was confused. <laughs> Shit. So I knew that of course ran to the closet cause this man was big. Like he was like, Honestly, I think we were the same height, but he was like bigger than me. So I can only imagine how if this man is already super saiyan, I don't want to see his super duper saiyan ass father. So I just got my ass in the closet. Of course, I'm gonna change his name just to keep confidentiality. Dad just came in and was like, Jeffrey. And he was like, yeah, 
He was like, come downstairs. I can't stress that I was literally just standing in the closet, just trying not to make a sound, just trying not to be caught. I'm just trying to go home at this point. Like, I'm just trying to get up out the jail. So Jeffrey was downstairs and pretty much talking to his dad. And his dad was like, you know, who was in our house? Cause there's a whole car in our driveway. And so Jeffrey kind of like plays it off and was just like, oh, you know, one of my bros came over, long story short. And um, he's outside right now on the phone with his mom because his mom was, I guess, looking for him. So, you know, that's why he's not inside the house the whole time. I'm standing upstairs in this man closet just waiting to come out. And I'm just like, so pretty much Jeffrey's dad was like, all right, well, I just came home because I left something at home. I think he left his wallet or some shit. So he was like, well, I just came home and get my wallet, uh, lock up, be safe, you know, the whole nine. So I hear the garage door go back up. Mm -hmm. I hear the garage door go back down. Mm -hmm. And then I just hear Jeffrey coming back up the stairs. So Jeffrey comes back in the room. He was like, all right, you want to get back into it? At this point in time, I was fucking scared. So I was like, get back into what? my car i'm getting back into that like that's what i'm getting back into is my car and then he was just basically like all right well just let me know like when the next time that we can do this and i don't know that that whole event kind of ran me the wrong way so i ended up what i do hitting the block yana on him he had to be blocked it was nothing i could do that could have been a real situation that situation scared the fuck out of me i couldn't imagine like that man's father coming into the closet and finding me there like Left immediately, drove my ass back to my suburb, and that was the end of that story. So, that was a pretty crazy one, to say the least. It wasn't really a long story, but still crazy enough, to say the least. I have a few of these types of stories where people would basically, like, would walk in. I actually had a story where somebody walked in on us one time, but... I'll say that for another day. Y'all be easy. I love y'all all. Make sure to like and subscribe to this video. Make sure to leave a comment. And as always, stay wedgy. You already know the vibes. Y'all be easy. Enjoy the rest of y'all weekend. I'll see y'all next week.